That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Today I'm going to show you what the day in the life of an insurance salesman working at home is like for me being visually impaired. So there's some few things that I have to make adjustments and things like that. So please make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can get updates about just, you know, a wide array of topics and things like that. For, so, for those who don't know, I have been working as an insurance salesman for the past nine months and whatnot. So I thought I'd get up this morning and show you what the day in the life of an insurance salesman <clears throat> for me working strictly at home as a blind person or visually impaired person is like. So I'm going to take you through the different nuances, um, how I'm able to conduct business and things like that. So... Come along with me on this journey. It's like 5.30 in the morning. And what I do, first of all, y'all pardon uh, the mess, if y'all can see, whatever. Uh, my girlfriend's coworker gave me this um, Red Bull. <clears throat> so I don't normally drink these. I usually drink some coffee. So what I, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drink this thing and get my day started. Just talk to y'all for a minute. I'm not endorsing, but here's the deal. Um, as an insurance salesman <clears throat> working for, um, uh, I'm not going to say the name, but anyway, working for this particular company it, as a whole, working for insurance is um, off and on. You hit, it's like hit and miss type day. Some days you're able to get people who are interested. I sell insurance, I sell Medicare supplements, I sell cancer uh, products, I sell dental products, I also sell uh, life insurance. So just we, our market is uh, people 65 years of age and older. So we sell them uh, Medicare supplements. And what those are, <clears throat> those are um, just what they are, supplements, people who qualify for um uh, well, actually, people who make more than a certain amount of money, they they will qualify for Medicare supplements on one end. And what they do, they fill in the gap between your Part A and Part B. Um, and I don't want to really bore you, but that's basically if you, you make a lot of money and um, the government does not um, uh, help you out on uh, Medicare, um, you would uh, have the opportunity to get Medicare supplement plans to help you uh, supplement part A and part B of uh, Medicare. So uh, I would call these individuals and uh, ask them, you know, what, you know, if they would be interested in um, uh, um, Medicare supplement, supplement. So anyway, there is a list of um, names that I would uh, choose from. And um, but first of all, let me show you my equipment. Um, okay, I'm off camera. Here's my computer. Uh, I use a um, a laptop computer. Get a close up on that. And um, I it, uh, it um, uses a, a program entitled Jaws. And um, what it does, it reads my uh, screen wherever I am on the screen. It'll read it to me. Start button off. Start button off. Um, Search button, task view, widgets, chat button, file explore, notification, folder view, list view, not selected, gateway, left okay, that's my desk, not recycle, bin check, recycle bin, desktop, I'm on. Thread micro, underline, download, check, open book, 9.0, check, thread micro, pane, system, FS reader, 3.0, okay. check, gateway, left, and I use, um, I'm back, I use a program entitled Gateway, <clears throat> and what I would do, I would log on to that program, and there would be my numbers and names and things of that nature. So at any rate, uh, working again, working as an insurance salesman, uh, it's a hit and miss type thing. I kind of enjoy it sometimes, but there are times when I actually do not 
like it because people don't want to buy nothing. You have to set appointments in most cases. And sometimes when you do set the appointments, they do not stick it out, stick with it. They do not answer the phone and that's time wasted. So being paid on commission for me is hell. I, know. I did used to work at a place where I was getting paid every week. This was definitely a change, which is what I needed. So I'll show you, be showing you the equipment and things like that as I go on. So let me um, <clears throat> go to uh, the program entitled uh, Gateway, where I, where, where I would uh, type in the information and I would have to um, put in my passcode and things like that. So we have, a, we, this thing talks about, we have a, a platform entitled Salesforce in which we get all the, our, our uh, names and the, uh, the, the, the um, list of individuals that we um, choose from that we would call and what have you. So um, I would log on to Salesforce. Okay. Type in, um, I have to type in my, we have what is known as PMI number, and that's our, uh, like, our license number. So, in the first box, I would, I would pop, type in my PMI number, which is, uh, and then my password, eight, five. And let me see if I can show y'all. Hold on. Turn this around. Um, now we have this, this will be a layout. Okay, so we have to go to leads. Our leads is where we this is where, that's where we will pull out the information. And because I'm only one hand, but you uh Go down and find the different leads that you're looking for. So it's just giving you an idea of, hopefully I can see this. DC cursor. Oh, wait. Escape. Accounts. Free of eight. DC cursor. Uh, so I can... DC cursor. Okay, but anyway, I would go to my leads. Let me put this back down. And uh, let's say I would choose, I would Escape. find some names. I'm not going to show you. Okay. Escape. Um, Particular leads Escape. that I'm looking for is the names of individuals. Escape. Let me refresh this. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. I found the name, and his, his name is Benjamin. Okay. I will go down and find his uh telephone number. Okay. Find his telephone number. Now let's just say we're doing a mock call. This is what I do. I will call the number, boom, 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 boom. Okay. And um, usually if they don't answer the first time, I, I'll call back again. It's, it's what we call double dialing. <clears throat> hello, hello, may I speak to, let's say Will. Hello, may I speak to Will? Hi, Will, uh, did I call you at a bad time? No, I didn't. Well, look, uh, I've been uh, actually... Uh, summons by the company that I'm working with to educate you on Medicare. And what I do, this is a free service that I provide. I go over Medicare's life options and entitlements and explain to you in detail so that you'll have a better understanding of what to expect whenever you turn 65. Um, we can do this over the phone or in person. This is a free service that I do provide. Um, when will you have some availability? And if he answers, okay. Well, cool. Um, I have an opening tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Does that sound good to you? Okay, great. Well, what I do, I'll call you tomorrow. Well, make sure you put it in your calendar, but I'll call you tomorrow about 30 minutes prior to and remind you. And uh, at 12 o'clock, I'll call you and we'll do this over the phone and explain to you and allow you to ask any questions that you like so that you can be fully informed, okay? Well, great. I'll see you tomorrow, 12 o'clock. You got to constantly remind them so, you know, they won't forget. Thanks. Have a blessed day. Boom. I've set the appointment. Now, with that being said, <clears throat> I will call them back. And then I would go over the different uh, uh, parts of Medicare. There are several parts. Because a lot of people are very 
uh, confused about what Medicare is, what it covers and things like that. So what I do, I provide this free service, allow them. And then from there, if they are, if they are interested um, at that point, then I begin to uh, take the information and write down um, you know, the important stuff so that I could uh, set them up with a Medicare supplement. So that's what I do, I get a commission from that. So overall, um, um, that's just basically what my day is like uh, as an insurance salesman, as a blind person. So um, this is something that I do every day. I work about 40 hours a, a, a week, about maybe eight hours a day at, at most. But commission, as I mentioned, is a hit and miss. Sometimes there are individuals that you do call that you can't even get on the telephone. So you just have to X that out and, and move to uh, another one. Or, you know, you set yourself up and um, you call these individuals and you may go to a, a voicemail or something like that. You have to take notes. So basically you do a lot of note taking and um, reminding yourself so that you won't constantly keep calling the same people over and over. So that's just what I do as a uh, as a as a uh, insurance salesman. And um, I recommend that anyone who is interested in getting into insurance to so definitely look it over. Definitely weigh your options if you are like commission-based, but there are advances and things of that nature, then that's for you. For me, I won't give you my answer in terms of what I feel, but it is a breath of fresh air and allows me to talk to individuals because I met a lot of individuals over the phone who I, who they didn't get anything, but I developed a great rapport with them. So thanks for watching. Third Eye Visions, make sure to like, subscribe, and share.